Have you ever wondered what colour is a mirror? Now at first you might say silver, but what about now? Or now? Objects are whatever colour of light they don't absorb. For example, this piece of green paper appears green because it's absorbing every single colour of the rainbow except green, which is then reflected back into your eyes. If an object absorbs every single colour of light, then it appears black. And if it reflects every colour of the rainbow, then it appears white. But mirrors are whatever colour they are exposed to. But if that's the case, then why aren't all mirrors white? This is because white objects reflect the colours of light in all directions, whereas mirrors reflect it uniformly, with the angle of incidence being equal to the angle of reflection. Communicating with light is extremely efficient, and nothing else in our universe can travel faster. This is why fibre optic cables have become so widespread. But how does an optic fibre work? How is it possible to bend light around corners or even to tie it in knots? To show you how, here's an experiment that you can try at home. All you need is a bottle of water with a hole in the side and the laser pointer. So if we line up the laser with our hole and remove the tape holding in the water, we can see that the light from the laser follows the path of the water down. By looking closely, you may even see the laser reflecting off the edges of the stream. This is called total internal reflection. Fiber optic cables use total internal reflection, but they're far more efficient than a stream of water. The glass they're made from is not only flexible, but is able to transmit light for thousands of miles all over the world. And it's happening right now in front of you. As you watch this video, a digital code of trillions of ones and zeros is being transmitted into your computer through fiber optic cables, just like these. So how do we use the properties of reflection in everyday life? Well, large telescopes and satellites make use of something called a parabolic mirror. A parabolic mirror works by collecting and focusing the light into a single point. Now, our view of space would be tiny without the use of mirrors, and global communications would be impossible without satellites in orbit able to collect and transmit signals of light all over the world. We still haven't answered our question though, what colour is a mirror? Well, it all comes down to the fact that your average mirror isn't perfect. With every reflection, the mirror absorbs a little bit of light. You don't normally notice this for yourself with a single reflection, but with an infinite reflection, we see that the image gets gradually darker and also turns the colour which it reflects best, green. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out our eyeball dissection, or how you can use a trick of the light to turn something invisible at home. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.